Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to explain how to use chemical structures, formulae and equations in LaTeX documents. Before we actually take up that topic, I would like to mention that there are two well-known packages available in CTAN. One is MHCHEM and another is CHEM formula. Both of them also are compatible with another package chem macros. While MH chem and chem formula are very similar, they are not identical. Preference of one of them over the other is purely personal one. They should never be used together. Use either MH chem or chem formula. Now, in this video, I am going to explain the use of chem formula. The basic command is just only one thing slash ch and then curly brace open close spaces are very 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 important the separate different parts of the argument that we are going to give within the curly braces numbers are always typeset as subscripts charges plus or minus are always typeset as superscripts alphabets if used are available in the text mode for addex both full stop or end period and star can be used to get the same outputs. But for charges, the outputs are different. All the above can be modified like the one given here. That is a major advantage of chem formula. Having said that, let us consider the code and their outputs. Suppose we use CH within curly braces 2H2O. This will be the output shown on the right hand side. But if you give a space after 2, then the output will be correct as shown on the right hand side. Similarly, for SB203, we get the correct output on the right hand side. While H plus, if used, plus is automatically raised to the charge position, superscript position. If we consider the ion AgCl2 minus, then automatically 2 is in subscript position, minus is in the superscript position. Consider the next one CrO4 2 minus. I want to raise this 2 without this caret symbol, 2 will be set in the subscript position. To raise it to the superscript position, we use this caret symbol. If you use the caret symbol, we get 2 minus in the superscript position. If we have square brackets followed by minus sign, minus sign automatically goes to superscript position. Similarly for round brackets, parenthesis, again you get the output correctly. Now, when we say numbers here have to be in the superscript position, remember to use this caret symbol followed by plus within the curly braces as in the line 10 or outside the curly braces as in line 9. In both the cases, the output is the same. Remember, plus or minus is automatically raised to the superscript position. This is something interesting. Suppose you say 31H, 31 will be available only in the subscript position. While if you put caret 3, 1H, then 3 goes to the superscript position, 1 comes to the subscript. Now, as I mentioned, the alphabets, sorry, parenthesis open AQ, it is automatically set in the text mode. Suppose you want to typeset isotopes, then follow this syntax, superscript followed by subscript and then uh, symbol of the element plus sign, plus sign goes to the charge position, superscript position. Here, suppose we want to uh, use a variable volume of H2O. It can be typed it like this. You get the output properly. If you use Roman numbers in the superscript position, use caret symbol. For addex, whether you use star or full stop, both of them are available only as centered dots as shown on the right hand side. Both of them produce the same result. Now, if you use a number, Without the preceding zero, it is automatically added. 
if you use a comma it is automatically converted to decimal point if you use 3 slash 2 this automatically converted to fraction if you say 1 underscore 1 slash 2 it becomes 1 and a half as shown on the right hand side if we use round brackets and within which we use 1 slash 2 that is outputted as such alphabets like this n m are set in the text mode if you want to use them as variables then you have to necessarily use the dollar sign for n and m for superscripts and charges consider line 26 27 and 28 in all the three cases whether you use curly braces or not or group them differently the output is exactly the same they they produce the same result however if you want x as a variable then it has to be set within dollar dollar again if you use dot in the superscript position automatically you go it goes to the charge position like this now but if you use a star remember we have here only star for index whether it is full stop or star the result is same for charges they are different now when we come to bonds then there is a difference between chem formula and mh chem for single bond we use hyphen for double bond we use equal to sign for triple bond in chem formula we use plus sign whereas in mh chem we will use a hash here and then for single bond we will say sb for double bond db for triple bond tp but in mh chem we will say bond 1 2 3 remember if we have an older version of mh chem then the syntax will be different now if you use bond semi single you get dots here if you use semi double you get dots and underneath you have a line if you use a semi triple you will have dots and underneath you will have a long equal to sign for coad right we use this code co greater than symbol and then less than co produces coad left symbols for precipitates we use the symbol v and remember to use this space here baso4 space v it produces the symbol for a precipitate similarly for escaping gas use space followed by the caret symbol you get the escaping gas symbol now in 45 you may use a single quote or a double quote the result is same you will get x h2o or if you don't use anything again you get the same result only difference is in the first case there will be no space between x and h2o in the second case the case line 46 there will be a space between x and h2o instead of dollar you may use the slash round bracket open slash round bracket close again you get the same result now for arrows we use hyphen greater than to get right arrow less than hyphen produces left arrow hyphen slash greater than produces this symbol and the reverse symbol is produced by this syntax again a reference arrow can be got with this syntax less than hyphen greater than without that hyphen you get the reaction in both the directions while if you use a equal to sign you get the equilibrium arrow this is called right left harpoons or if we change greater than and equal greater than and less than symbols then you get left right harpoons however if you use two equal to signs then you get stoichiometric equation symbol like this then for labels a reaction symbol b and then if you use uh, within square brackets a it goes above the arrow if you use one more square bracket it goes to what the god is given the second square bracket goes to below the arrow symbol if you use si unit sex package 
then you can say slash sa 100 and followed by slash celsius automatically there will be a space between 100 and degree centigrade remember here we have got only one square bracket therefore this will be typeset above the arrow and this is interesting namely if you use h2o like this whatever we are given here will be available as such above the arrow however if you give a symbol sorry space before and after h2o then 2 will come to the subscript position you can notice this 2 here is in the online position 2 here is in the subscript position now if you use chem macros package along with chem formula then the oxidation symbols can be typeset like this here we say 2 oxidation number is 2 for calcium atom that is what we have here calcium atom oxidation number 2 roman number 2 is here then if you need a space you can use tilde tilde here you get the space this in particular is very interesting Lewis formula I have combined all the op options into a single line therefore you have to follow this carefully within the pair of first pair of curly braces we specify the angle within the second pair we specify the atom atom here is x we use the angles 10 90 165 230 for 10 I am not saying anything therefore by default you get two dots here pair of uh, electrons here at the position 90 I use a single dot remember angle is measured in the anti-clockwise direction at, uh, at the position 90 we have single dot at the position 165 we have double dot we have used a colon symbol here we use pipe symbol that is typeset as a line here and then at the angle 310 degrees we say O O means this is empty at uh, remember to distinguish between 0 and O here at 310 we have this empty uh, symbol typeset again it can be extensively customized like this ch louis louis distance is 0.75x radial radical radius is 0.55 at angles 0 90 180 280 etc then you can have the louis formula like this let us now consider the equations display equations first let us consider slash square bracket open and then followed by slash square bracket close then here we say slash ch curly brace open and here curly brace close whatever we give here will be typeset like this beautifully now let us consider another case this is a unnumbered display equation next one is also an unnumbered display equation therefore we use slash square bracket open slash square bracket close under set and then ingredient 1 is to be in the text mode and then we say ch a or we can also say text a both of them will produce the same result however for ingredient 2 instead of using text i use ch therefore what happens is while ingredient 1 given in text mode the number 1 is online ingredient 2 given in within ch number 2 is in the subscript position therefore remember to use here text right suppose you want to have numbered equations again you can use the syntax begin equation end equation as before the same thing same equation which is numbered now if you have got more than one equation to be aligned you can use begin align star end align star to forbid numbers for the equations or begin align end align for equations with numbers okay one important word of caution is what you should not do is slash ch curly brace open and then don't close this here again curly brace and start ch curly brace open for the next line there should be only one ch curly brace open and then these chemical formulae may be aligned 
using the and symbol you have the equations beautifully aligned like this however if you use chem macros along with chem formula then we have got these environments available begin reaction star end reaction star you have this the difference is when we say this is reaction star since we are not using here slash ch we have to use here dollar previously if you remember we are not using dollar we have used only slash ch now we have to use dollar dollar under set ingredient 1 ingredient 2 etc and here complete it with dollar you get a display equation without equation number if you use simply reaction without star then you will have equation number and notice that number is available within curly brace again if you use reactions begin reaction end reactions equations can be aligned remember here we are not using slash ch curly brace open close simply we say begin reaction end reactions we get equations which are numbered if you use reaction star end reaction star the numbers will go then for the sake of completeness let me refer to this additional point with the set chem formula this kroger wink true then this notation is also possible in this notation single coat produces a prime and x in the superscript produces times are multiplied by symbol both dot and the star produce a little filled circle here remember a prime denotes negative relative charge a circle denotes positive relative charge and a cross denotes a neutral relative charge that is if we use this code slash ch al underscore within curly braces al caret single code you get this as output with this we complete our discussion on chem formula in the next video i shall explain how to use chem fig thank you very much for watching thank you very much